Now, one of the hardest surfaces to varnish is a large, dark, colored metal tray. And they are beautiful. They are very traditional to the uh, history of our decorative art. And there might be a few little tips I could give you. The first is to take this tray and give it a coat of clear glaze medium. The second hint I can give you is to take as large a varnish brush as you can afford. This is an inch and a half. I actually have a, a two inch brush, but they were terribly expensive and we discontinued them. Uh, and then take your, your varnish you want to use, I use satin on this tray, and add a good bit of water to it. I actually have almost one part water, one part varnish. Mix it up good. I use the varnish brush dry, and I start in with a slip slap and smooth. Slip slap and smooth, slip slap and smooth. Reload, work as fast as I comfortably can. The first one to two coats are going to streak. Ignore it, just get it on. Now let a good dry happen, say two hours, three hours in a nice warm place or put the hair dryer to it and continue layering your varnish. Uh, by about the fourth coat on a large black tray, uh, you will be getting a nice finish. Should you have any trouble, remember this, water plus varnish, even up to one to one, and you could put a little flow medium with that or retarder medium. Work in the cool of the morning out of any direct airflow, you know, no air conditioning, no heat. Um, you notice I didn't do it under the camera here because the lights would be just too hot and this would dry immediately and I would have a streaky mess. So um, remember, as large a brush as you can, thin your, paint, your uh, varnish with water you can add flow medium, you could add retarder. So how much? I would do uh, maybe like one to one water and varnish and then um, to about this much varnish, which should be enough to do the tray. This is a little two ounce container, so I have almost an ounce in there. I would add a tablespoon of um, flow medium or about a teaspoon of retarder to about one ounce of product. Stir it good and by the time you have four or five coats of that you have uh, uh, you should be having a beautiful beautiful finish. At that time if you still are experiencing a little streaking I would let it dry overnight and varnish it in the morning again, one more coat, and that should do it. The varnish brush I'm using is a synthetic. It is a very fine synthetic, and it tapers to a nice edge. It's not a blunt cut edge. I think that's all important too. When you have finished, let it dry naturally. Don't play with it. Don't move it around because that film is tender and you can mark it or start it peeling. But within a day and a half, two days, you can use it uh, with confidence. We do like to say four or five coats for an alcohol resistant 
finish. And you have to remember that that alcohol resistance develops as the varnish cures.